So I'm just having uh, a look inside and giving a service of sorts, I suppose, to uh, to the Tiller Pilot, uh, which is an Autohelm ST1000. Um, yeah, we've been asking quite a lot of it, to be fair. It's been steering the boat in some pretty heavy weather, some very heavy weather, in fact. Uh, and the arm, the steering arm, um, when it when it comes out, is begun to get a bit juddery uh, and it's not sort of coming out smoothly so um, it doesn't look too bad in here um, I'm trying to get so that I can I can video this properly without the camera case getting in the, in the way uh, yes it doesn't look too bad in here I was I was sort of half expecting to see something badly bent or broken and there's nothing badly bent or broken at all in here um, you can actually there are three there are eight screws to get the cover off uh, which which are underneath and then there are another three smaller screws which you can see there uh, which um, you undo to lift the PCB out of the way so those three go there there and there so yeah then you can you can carefully lift the PCB out of the way and do it carefully because underneath there uh, is the, the little flux gate compass underneath those three arms that you can see and you can see that little uh, gold coloured, copper coloured, whatever um, so yeah, be careful with that but yeah, you can carefully lift the PCB out of the way um, one of these two um, I don't know what they're called but one of these two uh, sliders or whatever um, is ever so slightly bent but it is ever so slightly um, but they were very dry uh, and a little bit grubby so I've cleaned them up, lubricated them uh, the worm gear um, uh, the screw part, the worm gear in the middle is, is sort of reasonably well lubricated anyway uh, so I'm just going to reassemble it now and uh, plug it in and see what happens um, this gasket that runs all the way around the outside I've just lifted that free and, and uh, just put some silicon, uh, silicon grease, a little dab of silicon grease all around there. That's not going to do any harm. Help to keep the water out, and a little bit of silicon grease around here, which is the little. Uh, you can probably see it moving. That's where that's attached to the uh, the pin, um, and then a bit of silicon grease around there where the uh, the, the the power cable comes in. Um, so yeah, um, hopefully. That will be a little smoother in its operation uh, when I reassemble it and test it. And I think, looking at the underside now, um, I think you can see I've just put a little dab of silicone grease into the, 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 the screw holes just before I put the screws back in. Um, anything really to, to, to sort of help um, help to stop any water getting in there, help to stop any water ingress. Right, so I've got it back back together again and uh, let's just see. Yeah, it's still a bit juddery. I think it's a bit quieter. about on the center line now it's all right sort of uh, frankly it's about the same as it was before so there we are at some point I might have to uh, do a little bit more uh, take it apart a bit more than I have already and uh, see if I can straighten that uh, that metal rod that was inside. Anyway, it's still working. Uh, there we are. 